Hello, my friends. Happy Monday. Happy Boxing Day, more to the point. There's still so much food left, isn't there? You bought too much. We all have. Don't worry about it. Because all you've got to worry about for the next 15 or so minutes, depending on how well I play this, is how the devil I am going to get through Desertland and beat Morton Cooper Jr. As you can see, still got the things from the last, uh, the last level. So I've got two whistles. I have got a star, a flower, and a P-Wing. And we are going to go straight into the first level. Uh, I do, out of it, all the uh, stuff that you get, the costumes that you get, and the power-ups that you get, I think the leaf for me, probably the most versatile, just because it's so easily available, and yet it's just so good. It makes a difference to most levels, really. It makes a, a lot of the levels a lot easier. Now, I could go in there and try and get stuff, but you know what? I can't bother. There we go. And, see, I'll have a go at this one. This is the memory game one. So, that nearly always happens. Top right, bottom right as well. No, star this time, never mind. There should be a mushroom in one of these two, though. Star. Star, right. So it's guesswork where a mushroom is. Now, let's try here. No, ten coins. Right, this way. Ah, never mind. Still, got some power-ups out of it. Um, oh, just go on. I'll have a go at this. Well, I'm not holding out a lot of hope. I was nowhere near that. <laughs> Garbage. Right. Level two. This is another one of those levels where I think if you collect a certain number of coins, you've got to be bang on them. I can never remember what it is. If you collect a certain number of coins on this, if you bang on the money, you get another one of those uh, uh, ships full. Of, do you get a ship full of money, or do you get uh, one of the? You might. I think you might get one of the blue toad houses actually, where you can get the anchor, which stops the ship from running off. You see, in an ideal world, you'd get three lives for three mushrooms, four lives for three flowers, five for three stars, and you should get two for one of each, because it's harder to get that than to get anything somehow. Right, next castle. Different to this castle is I'm actually going to finish it, because if you remember on the other one, what I did was I just took that shortcut to get the whistle. See what Princess said about those ghosts? So if I turn away from it, it'll come chase me. Turn back. Geezer will bottle it. Proper snide, isn't he? Right. This bit tough to get through without being it, to be honest. Especially if you're a... If you're a big version of the character, just because... It's just dead easy to start your run too early. And just get clipped. It's almost better. Try and go over the top, really. Oh, I did that well. If I do say so myself. Right. These guys guard the castles. Kill them in three hits. Ugh. Or, if you've got a fireball, uh, you can absolutely just raz them off the start before they get a chance to get going. I can't remember if you can do them with a hammer suit that easily. I imagine you can, though. Right. I'll go and... Uh, let me go take this guy out first. Can't remember what he gives you. I want to say it's a music box, but it might not be. Oh, that's nicely done. Is it? Yeah, a music box. What that does is that if there's a Hammer Brother or later on one of the piranha plants on the maps that you have to go and fight, um, it'll put it to sleep. I'll get on this pipe to get back to the start, just because it'll save me going all the way around. Not something good. Oh, I'll take it though. They're always handy to have. To be fair, anything's good in that situation. As long as it's not frog soup. You end up getting so many of them later on. They're useful on about four levels. Unless you're trying some gimmicked out frog soup full clear. And let's be honest, who wants to see that? Right. It's good trying to stick to the top with this one, if I remember rightly. You can even, you can even get a bit of it. 
depends on where he goes now. Because I know he can jump downward. Hmm, never mind. Now you see that one at the top isn't quite as shiny. It's because it's a bad guy. Like there's somebody hiding in there. So. Right now. Try and get this bit timed right. Ugh, so hard with it. What's it? With the... Uh, uh, leaf there, the raccoon parrot. My head went blank then. Right. Nice. This one, if I think right, is this the one with the sun? Yeah. He looks angry, doesn't he? He's had every right to be. He goes, he goes a bit mental in a bit. See if I can get a jump off here. There we go. Cleared that. And now when I run down here, what you find is the sun will attack you every now and again. Oh. That was close. Oh. There you go. That's him done. Oh, come on. That's legitimately messed up my thing. Hang on. Right. Do you know what I mean? Absolute mong. Still. I see. I haven't got... Because all this... I have to start doing more and more levels. Just because you have to get a big stack of lives. Oh, I could have done with the feather as well. It's hard to get this from here. You've got a uh, thing. It's dead easy. You got a. F if you can fly, I want to say feather, but feather's the power up for Mario World on the snow. If you've got the uh, the ability to fly, it's easier. Is what I'm trying to say, like that. That's it. Because if you can fly, you can just nip up here. Get all these coins. It makes sense, really, because, like I say, we haven't got we haven't got a rubber the green with the. Uh, there's a P power up somewhere as well, I think, somewhere, so you can get a load more coins. Is it around here? I don't know. I bet it's the last one to try and hit. Of course it is. I don't think I even get what I can if I fly up to it. Uh, yeah, it's probably worth doing. I'll probably get back that way and see if I can get some coins. That's a few more anyway. One extra life. Oh, what's that? Oh, another one of them. Oh, let's try and remember. This is the bit that kills me, you see. I want to say there was a mushroom there. I think there was. No, that's a one-up. I ain't never getting there. But hang on. So. That one. So that was a one-up, was it? What about that one? A star. Beautiful. No. Oh, there you go. I'll never remember that. Apologies in advance if you're all screaming at the uh, thingy to tell which one it is. Another mushroom. God almighty, I'm not one of the happy Mondays. Right. So, what I'll do here is I'll take this guy out quite cheekily. He'll give me a hammer, if I remember rightly. And I'll show you how you can get, how you, that's right, you, can get whistle number three. No idea why you'd need it or want it, but um, might as well. So, through here. First things first, hit the hut, so to speak, and get a frog suit. Amazing. No use till the next. In all fairness, on the next level, Wendy O'Cooper's Waterland, which does sound like it sounds dodgy, doesn't it? Um, it's quite useful. What I'm going to do here is use one of the stars and just go completely plow these two, like that. And what you'll find in here. 
is said whistle. As I say, useful if you want to skip large portions of the game out. But then, I mean, we'd be done before. We'd be done in about two days, so what's the point of that? But like I say, on one of these levels, maybe near the end, what I'll do is I'll show you exactly how the whistles uh, the whistles actually work. Or I might do the next one, actually, because you can see a big very I'll fix it now. Oh, that's poor, and I'll tell you why that's poor. Because it, it means what I've got to do now is try and break these myself. Got to find some shells to break them. God. Oh, come on. It's my own fault for titting around, that is. If you're being honest. Right. I think, do I need another one here? Of course I do. Right, come back here, you. Sure, there's got to be some kind of... Oh, interesting. That's good, get an extra life anyhow. Yeah, I'll take that. Right, let's keep going. Need another one of these in a second, I think. Get out the way of that, though. That should be it. What a cheap thing that is. Oh, same thing again. I can't get enough of a run-up. <sighs> still. Still. It's not even a word. Still. I'm accumulating lives at a nice, uh, a nice clip. I wouldn't do it normally, but I might as well have a dabble at this. I can't see me getting anything, but... Let's have a go. Start. Oh, no. Nice. That's pretty solid, to be honest. I'll take that. Right. Um, what I'm going to do is use one of these many mushrooms, just because it's going to be easier starting this level. Uh, big. So, Morton Cooper Jr. has turned the King of Desert Land into a ladybird. With massive eyes. That's freaky, isn't it? A big ladybird as well. He's half the size of a throne. So it's up to us. Ugh. To get up there and get after him. Right, let's see if we can remember how this one goes. Okay. This is useful for here because I think that you get all those. Yeah, there you go. Shoot them here. Sunglasses wielding like. There you go. The doozy oh, doozy throw the spanners at you. They look like Vince from the uh, Sky One Brexit Britain series. I voted out. Go on YouTube and put Vince Brexit Britain. What a weapon. Anyhow. Here's tons of fun himself. Morton Diabetes Jr. Mars a day, son. Does not be work, rest and play. Right. Fat jokes aside, that was fairly straightforward, wasn't it? Didn't have the best start, but still we got there in the end. Once again, tumbling from the sky. Bang. And once again he says the same thing. Interestingly enough, or not interestingly enough, enough. If you do it in different costumes, you'll say different things. Like he'll say like, oh brave raccoon, do you want me to change your back or something stupid like that. Um, what's Princess got to say? Greetings, you can stomp on your enemies using Kuribo's shoe. Or Goomba shoe if you're playing it in one of the European versions, I believe. Or is that the... One of them's Kuribo, one of them's Goomba, I can't remember. I have enclosed a jewel that helps protect you. Princess Toadstool. That jewel is the cloud, and what the cloud does, it means you can skip levels. Um, you can skip one level, but the problem is, if you skip a level, do the next level and die, you then get teleported before the first level. 
So it's wasted. So if you are going to use one, make sure you uh, don't die on the next level, whatever you do, or it's been completely for nothing. Right then, this has been a Boxing Day Bonanza. Makes a change from watching James Bond films, doesn't it, really? Um, unless it's View to a Kill, really, which for me is still probably the best one. Um, if only because Roger Moore's about 60 in that, realistically. Christopher Walken's a belting bad guy. But, I mean, I still find it hard to believe that he finds out all James Bond's information using an Amstrad CPC-464 and CFAX. And also, it's Bond's own fault, though, really. Because, I mean, he goes into that mansion and they're like, play it down a bit, Bond. Do you know what I mean? Try not to give yourself an ostentatious fake name. And he rolls in, he's like, James St. John Smythe. Rubbish. Absolute the same the same film he winds up in the London stock market and he's and he's like uh, I didn't give you your name, mister and he and he just goes like Stock James Stock Good is that what you the best you, you're in a dude's office at least go with like James Hole Punch or something. Do you know what I mean? There's all kinds of stuff. James Stock. Anyhow, quite the diatribe that. But I would watch View to a Kill because it's hilarious. If not a bit kind of you treat in places when you realise that that girl's actually about 17 and Roger Moore's nearly 60. This has been, well, that's been a shocking allegation <laughs> on Roger Moore and uh, a bit of a diatribe on View to a Kill. But this level, Desert Land, was a lot of fun. Morton Cooper Jr. didn't put up much of a fight, but a lot of his friends will, to be honest with you. Uh, it just gets harder from here on in. Have a great boxing day. Carry on eating all that food. Sleep a little bit. Sleep more than you would normally. Have a nap. Do you know what I mean? I love a nap. Um, midday. I mean, get like, or have some food for a bit and then nap from about. I'm not setting you out of schedule. That's the best part. You nap whenever you want. If you want an 11 o'clock nap, treat yourself. Wake up, have some food. Bang. <laughs> Glad you ate a chicken. Right. Um, but yeah, that's that. Take very good care of yourselves. And I will see you, good people, for Wendy O. Cooper's Waterland tomorrow. That sounds more wrong every time I say it. My bird's just gone mental even at the thought of that. Take care.